Caddis Maximus here. This is just a video about my experience trying to warranty this Legacy Craftsman Long Handle Flex Head Ratchet. Anyway, this is one of the newer ones, newer of the American made ones. We'll call it Post Eastco with the different switch. These are the ones where they started cheapening out and they had the plastic switch which broke on me. I've seen this on a lot of these ratchets. Happened on this one. They're really not worth as much money as people think they are. And the switch is plastic. Anyway, the long and the short of it is, I wasn't able to get any type of warranty coverage for this whatsoever. All I was offered was $41 of credit on the Sears website after going through Lowe's and dealing with the whole thing. So there's several YouTube videos and stuff about people having success. I had the absolute worst case scenario. When I went to Lowe's, I was told that one, if they didn't sell it, they're not gonna warranty it. If they don't have it on the shelf, you gotta deal with Craftsman. Uh, there's nothing else they're going to do with it. They told me that I had to have government issued photo identification in order to just do a warranty swap, not try to get a refund or store credit, just to sw simply try to swap out the tool for the same or similar model. I was told I needed government ID. And furthermore, Lowe's told me that they won't do an equivalent model swap out. They will only swap if it's the exact same part number of what they do have in stock. So just absolutely, apparently, a f just a few years ago when they started, Lowe started selling Craftsman, they had some of the ones with the plastic switches, but they don't anymore. And so you just, my Lowe's has told me to take a hike. Just absolutely the worst. Which resulted in me calling Craftsman. And Craftsman, uh, or Sears, I guess part of the deal with them selling Craftsman and part of the contracts they have with retailers is that Sears.com is not competing with their brick and mortar retailers of Craftsman tools. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is this here. I mean, first, here's the full lifetime warranty on hand tools uh, to a stop, return to a damage to a stocking retail partner or call this 800 number, which is Sears number. What's hilarious is I called Sears number. Wow, this is way too zoomed in. Anyway, see, Craftsman Ratchet. I'm just certain straight up Craftsman Ratchet. Uh, I do not live in New York, but I figured that zip code to be, you know, one of the largest cities in the United States. So as far as finding everything, because the online, they were telling me that uh, not available to ship in your area. I was like, what the heck? So I went on the Sears website and put in the easiest zip code to remember in the United States, <laughs> 10,001. And so I just searched for Craftsman Ratchet. And they have a couple in these ratchet sets, but oddly enough, no independent Craftsman ratchets on Sears website. I'm like, so they're doing something where they're not competing with their brick and mortar retailers. And so now it brings me to eBay for that ratchet I'm talking about. People, you know, they're wanting $79, $59. Here's one where somebody paid uh, $77. Not even close. The end of the story is that Sears basically offered me credit on the Sears.com website where you just saw cannot physically even order any Craftsman ratchets whatsoever for the lowest sale price that they had, which was $41. So like that sold ratchet I just showed you for $77, that person just ripped themselves off because they're not going to be able to get that thing warrantied. And they got a terrible one with the plastic switches. If you're going to buy any old Craftsman ratchets, the only ones I'll recommend is these very distinctive East Co ones with the heavy duty switches. These are the actual ones that you want. These other ones are trash. And that's the, that's the, not the moral, that's exactly what my experience was. And so I do not recommend buying any legacy craftsman tools unless they're super cheap. I'm a tool collector, so I do buy some, but I'll never touch uh, a variety of uh, older craftsman ratchets unless they are specifically the East Co ones, which I know are reliable and tough. All the parts are metal and they have a much better design. But if you're looking at any of these, buying them used, remember that. Some people may have better luck, but for me, I mean, that's the bottom line. No warranty. And the amount of credit that ultimately Sears offers uh, is irrelevant because you can't even buy another ratchet uh, from their website for any mayor near the amount that they offer for the credit. And basically completely got, you know, even though I did buy this used, uh, it's just throw away. I just completely threw the money is just basically, you know, <laughs> thrown away. I could have got a little bit of store credit, uh, but I just didn't want to 
care and deal with it. It's extremely frustrating, and so that's what the point of this video is, is to warn everybody, that was my experience here in June of 2021, that I was basically told, uh, you get $41 of store credit on the Sears website that you can't order other Craftsman ratchets off of. And Lowe's just was absolutely nasty. I never really liked Lowe's, but they just they were just so rude. It's pretty obvious that they have a lot of people coming in uh, with Craftsman tools, and they're just uh, tired of dealing with them. And they were real short with me. It took them about 20 seconds to tell me all those things earlier. Needing photo ID has to be the same part number. You know, if they don't sell it, they're not warranting it. They do not provide equivalent products or anything like that. And then, once again, Sears just... And then Sears offering some credit, and I didn't even stay. I didn't even know if Sears was going to actually make me mail this to them in order to even get that credit. Uh, it was just an absolute super frustrating nightmare. And so, well, you know, effectively me and me buying uh, at least these, these plastic switch ratchets at all, and I recommend nobody else buy them either whatsoever. And to really think twice about any craftsman tool that you're buying, because of course this situation is uh, valid for new tools. You buy one of those new ratchets from Lowe's, and in a few years, uh, craftsman swaps out the ratchets, no longer offers them. You're going to be in the same boat. Lowe's is going to tell you to take a hike. If you're lucky and you have one of those magical stores that will warranty it for you, you know more power to you. Uh, but for a lot of people like me, uh, you know you'll just be told to take a hike. Too bad. Shouldn't have bought a Craftsman Ratchet from Lowe's because if they change out stock, they don't have an equivalent and they won't swap it out. Kind of like AutoZone where they've just been changing out the, their Duralast tools and now where they're just all Chinese garbage. And a Duralast Ratchet that you bought 10 years ago, even if they do swap it out, you're going to get swapped out with something that's totally inferior quality. Uh, just super disappointing and so I'm just doing this as a community service video. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.